Hello folks, hope you're having a good day. Welcome to Saturday here on Minecraft. Hunter Triple Five, tier one for 22 months. Thanks so much, Hunter. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome everyone. My name is Joel Duggan, if you have not figured that out. And we are on the Citadel server, a five-year-old Minecraft survival server. And we are in the middle of West Hill, which is a medieval fantasy town that I've been working on for almost two years. Uh, that is weird to say out loud, but it has generated a lot of content <laughs> for the channel, and uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with this place. We are currently working on this large mansion on the Taiga Hill, hence the name Taiga Hill Mansion. My name isn't Pez. It's a good username despite the fact that it is not Pez. Uh, I don't like Pez anyway, so you're in good, you're in good uh, spirits. Good, good company, as they say. Sweet Sandy, Hunter Triple Five, we've got Sweet, uh, Sweet Sandy Morgantic, McShrewgun, all kinds of people here. All kinds of people here. Good to see y'all. Hope you're having a good weekend. I, I think we're going to pick up where we left off. So last time we were working on this tower over here uh, and we finished the inside if I recall everything here is done there's nothing up here but I don't know we could put a table there but I'm not sure what we would put on it per se um, I feel like that's the most logical place to put something would be right there that or maybe in front of the window but that would narrow this considerably um, and that's it. So then the other things that we were working on, I think we left off on the front of the building, but this is all done on here. We've got the textures all up and down the sides. The staircase is finished. I think it. I think we stopped at the basement. We didn't do anything in the actual basement down here. We did this little this little room here, and then that's it. We, we toyed around with the kitchen, but we didn't do much. Uh, this leads up to the first floor when you don't fall off like so and of course the basement stair leads out into the back courtyard so we could start with the courtyard we could start inside there is i do want to tackle this other staircase as well also i kind of wonder is that on a, that's on an upper slab so a sign won't work there a sign would work there though do I have a sign? No. We're going to get some some wood, I think. Malak Stellion, welcome in. Good to see you. Tarsiris subscribing with Prime for 15 months in a row. Tarsiris, thanks so much for supporting the content. Good to see you back. Morgantic, I indeed minced my words. I was reading... Uh, I was reading chat, and then as I was reading chat, chat moved, and I I mashed two people's names together. Did I miss anybody? Nope. I think I think that's everybody. So we need to put away some stuff because uh, inventory pain is real. That's not going there. I might need some stone and cobblestone. I don't think I need stone stairs. Famous last words. Okay, uh, now I need these those we already have trapdoors i want more signs so before i do anything i want to go down and see if i can put a sign or a trapdoor on this stair so it's a little bit more that looks pretty good i feel like we might have to do both the sign and the stair that actually looks better i think what do you think
Yeah, something different maybe. We're going to have to take a, uh, a little walking break here soon because my Elytra are in dire need of repair, <clears throat> as is with something else I need to repair too. Oh, never mind. I thought it was a tool. That's just that. So that won't keep us from falling off, but it'll look a little bit better. And that, of course, doesn't work as suspected. I guess we could try to put trapdoor there yeah and then I can put one on top of it just so it doesn't feel like you're gonna fall down and break your neck you know I still wish that this connected better, but there's not really much we can do. Not really much we can do there. <clears throat> PSA, don't fall into the tank of your mob switch. Yeah, probably, probably not the best idea. First stream, love the podcast though. Thanks. Are you listening to the Spawn Chunks and the Citadel Cafe or just the Spawn Chunks? We just did a, a patron only podcast this morning. Uh, Johnny and I did our, our patron hangout. Uh, do. I don't want to get into the spiral of like putting a fence up everywhere. I feel like we could probably just do them on the stairs and they would look okay. So here. Feels less precarious. Kind of run out of signs. I don't know if I've done this anywhere else. I would love to get a lot better with these mini or or sub block builds, the the micro builds, so to speak. Would really like to get better at that. Is that that's a downward facing one? Okay. So that feels a little weird. Maybe maybe we sacrifice this one. Put that here. It sort of makes sense that there's a landing here, so there's a slightly bigger bigger thing. Do we need anything here? No, because we would run into just there. This would be in the way. All right, I'm happy with that. Caught a few of this little podcast, but I've been listening to the Sponge Chunk since episode seven. Seven, wow. Well, thank you very much. That's amazing. That's over 200 episodes. Because we're on 2.14 this coming Monday. Fun Dashing Tomato, welcome back. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good good October so far. I feel like it's been a little while since you've been in chat. So this is the other staircase I am not a fan of. I, I, don't, I don't like it. Specifically this part. I don't find this part looks very good. So I'm wondering... What we could do, I think a railing along here is probably a good idea. Uh, I think perhaps we have to go outside. Actually, I guess I should have left that there. Give it a little bit more of a twist in that direction. Now this feels very strange and I don't know what to do about this without bringing down something a lot um, a lot sturdier. I guess I could maybe do another stair here and double up on that. That feels a little bit more intentional. A 
we put these trapdoors here just to kind of create a contrast between those two situations. We could do the same here, I guess. Really emphasize the entrance here to the tower. And I like these I like the sign idea. The much taller tower though. Signs of the new trapdoors? I don't know. What's the what are the tea leaves on that? Signs say trouble in your future. All signs point to yes. I don't remember all the um, Magic 8-Ball responses, but seems like a fitting fitting way to do that. Uh, I think I prefer that a little bit shorter. It is a very easy thing to do, and it seems to add a lot, so why not take this all the way to the top, right? Now we can't do it there and we can't do it on any of these things with the chain. So maybe we only do it to here. Just as like a, this landing is the one that has the detail. And then because we can't do it any higher with the chain here, we'll have to leave that. Ask again later. Yeah, that's fair. So this, I guess this feels okay. I don't, I don't know if I want to change this to see the problem is if we don't make it trapdoors, then we bonk our heads. So it has to be, has to be trapdoors. Uh, I guess I can leave that the way that it is. So then down this way though, I think maybe what we need to do here is just space up the textures a bit. Maybe add in a little bit of that. Maybe we'll grab a little bit of this. That doesn't really fit, does it? Yeah, there's not really much I can do there. Okay. So the next thing that we were working on last time was the outside walls here, and we just decided to go with cobble and andesite and I I guess I decided I like this little ridge but I want to do something about that it looks cool I'm wondering whether we can get away with an emerald block in there or if I have something else that might work animal hello how's it going so I'm thinking mini blocks specifically and green So emerald is one moss block that might look kind of cool this could look cool emerald probably gonna go with the emerald it's gonna be a little bit bright but it's more than likely what we're gonna do that's kind of cool too. We're using a lot of turquoise in the build, so maybe the warped warp block would be good to go with. 
It looks a little bit gem-like as a mini block. Yeah. Town building continues as one might expect. Goes well. Goes slow. No complaints though. I'm getting a little bit burnt out on on this build. Like I'd like to try to finish it up soon, but we're not we're not that close. I'd like to think we were close, but we're not that close. So I don't think I like the um carved stones back there. I think I want to put something else back there. I can't think of what would look good. I don't want to use polished andesite. Maybe we'll use uh, maybe we'll use deep slate bricks. No blackstone. No blackstone. Now, do I want this in the hand or on the head? Probably on the head would be my guess. I imagine that probably looks okay. Oh, it just looks like one block. Interesting. Never thought about how they would connect like that. So my guess is that we're going to have to put the armor stand here. And pose adjustments. That looks kind of cool. Maybe the prismarine. Okay, so no to the no to the moss block. Hmm. I think it's down to the two prismarines. Maybe that. That looks a little bit like a face to me, and it doesn't look like a gem as I thought it would. So. I think we're down to the two prismarine blocks. I'm putting a gem in this little space here, by the way. That's what I'm trying to go for. Uh, which direction is this? This is positive, positive X. And then positive Z. Hopefully it won't go dark on me.
I think that might be too dark. So it's down to me, I think. For, for me, I think it's down to the two different types of prismarine. The emerald is more... It's very more... It's more Minecraft-y. feels like a Minecraft craft Dungeons build at that point. Uh, two years. Coming up on two years, Animal. Two years in November. So November will be the anniversary of this build but then i think i don't remember when we started these i think it was november but i want to say the front gate here was a december a december stream december 2020. Mm. oxidized copper mini blocks i don't think so i didn't see any Zack attack plays. Welcome in. Hello. I mean, we can switch it out easy enough. I did have a slime mini block. Yeah, but I think that's going to be too translucent. Green Ninja 5. Good to see you. Oxidized copper. I've got cut copper. And they don't change. Like, it's a, it's a once... It's a once in a purchase kind of situation raw copper no oxide copper I don't think the slime block will look good but we'll try it Oh yeah, I know that they're all stages. I just, I don't have any, like I, what I'm saying is I can't age the mini block. I have to buy the mini block pre-aged, right? That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's a hard no. <laughs> it was worth a shot, but that's a hard no. Let's go with Emerald for now. I might want to push that back a little bit, depending on how I feel in a little bit after walking by it a few more times. It's a little bit on the on the bright side, but we're we're gonna bring in some more vines and stuff. There'll be more green happening here, so that'll hopefully look a little bit do look better. I'm going with green, Elkhorn, um, because I of all the green around. Very green area. Lots of vines and stuff like that. We could go red too. I could try to find something that's red like a redstone block or something but we've got a lot of what having on the prismarine take is that we've got a lot of cyan candles around and i do like them so that's fun uh i guess there's the two main things are this wall has been untouched for quite some time and then of course this balcony and this one the balcony won't take very long i'm curious though we do have oh we can't access it up this way and this is yeah that's too tight to the roof there's a door there though we could potentially have a balcony there if we wanted to 
I can just remove this little trapdoor. I can put a door there. Although that would look kind of silly at this point. It's a little bit tight. Well, it would be nice if the stair was tall enough that we could fit underneath it. But. So let's do, I guess we've decided the outside is okay. A little plain. I want to do all the plants at the same time. So I think maybe we'll tackle the, this balcony next. But that's going to involve a lot of backing up and looking at things. And for that, we're going to need a working elytra. So we need to take a road trip. and repair it. It would be nice if I actually had a spare elytra so I could just switch, but I do not. Do we need anything else to be repaired? Nope, just the main stuff. Man, switching to a netherite pickaxe, it's almost OP. Like, I'm, I'm happy to have it. I'm happy to not have to repair it all the time. But it is almost OP. Yeah, I made my own diamond texture tools. I haven't gotten around to making one for the for the netherite pickaxe though. Not yet, anyway. Mini Pax was asking about doing some art streams the other day on the Lego Let's chat, and that's probably where I would start. Would be wrapping up and finishing up some of the textures that I've started for the Citadel and just never finished. I feel like pixel art would be easy enough to stream. Because I could do that from the PC. Because the PC, I wouldn't need a, a stylus. I could use, use a mouse for pixel art. It wouldn't be that hard. Almost not enough to where he thinks it's cheating, but as close as you can get, I'm not sure what you mean. First time in chat, minimap is awesome. Finley the dog gaming, thanks very much. Um, that is Zero's minimap and Zero's world map. Uh, world map looks like that and gives us a nice oops gives us a nice overview of everything makes it easy to plan roads really helpful in the modern city I wish the maps in Minecraft looked that good I've actually thought about looking for a data pack that would change the map colors to represent like what you're seeing in the top right hand corner I think that would be good. 
One of my buttons zooms that too. Yeah. Yeah, those are the links there in chat, Finley. So if you want to check them out. It updates quite often, actually. Almost to the point where it's annoying, but updates quite often. There are a lot of features in the world map, things like teleports and waypoints and things like that. It's, it's very much a heavy mod, but we don't use those on the Citadel. We just use it for the top-down view. And I do like seeing the time of day and the um, coordinates in the top right-hand side there underneath. It might be a little bit small on stream, but I can see it no fine. No, no problem. The the day thing, I don't remember turning that on. I might that might be a new feature that I forgot to turn off. Thanks for the lurk, Hunter Triple Five. Very much appreciated. Hope the day doesn't involve too much adulting. Starting to get into vanilla plus style modding, uh, what would you, what would be your recommendations? So I played all of Fabric 5. Uh, there's a couple of VODs on Joel Duggan VODs. You can watch those from the beginning. They're not, it's not a lot. There's like 10 maybe. And my process there was actually going through and deleting mods that I thought were too OP or too convoluted, too uninteresting, um, didn't feel very vanilla. But you could go the opposite way and, and maybe go slow and steady, you know, like adding a mod here and a mod there that you think enhances the gameplay. I would start with like sitting down and looking at what you're doing with your game in your single player world and what you wish Mojang would implement. Like what you wish would be a feature in the game and a really good rule of thumb with vanilla plus modding is do you think it could be added like there's lots of mods out there and people just add them because they want a thing in the game and they don't necessarily put a lot of thought into is this something minecraft would likely add or am i just doing it because i want to and i think the best mods are the mods that really understand the the Minecraft gameplay, the gameplay loop. They understand, you know, what it's like to um, want to progress, but also maybe not as grindy. I find a lot of mods very grindy. Uh, also, you can check out Steven ESC because they started their own um, Minecraft uh, single player. I got a link there in chat for you. And they are doing a modded playthrough. Someone left all their gold behind. Actually, let's put that over here. Hopefully this won't take very long. Uh, snowballs. Now, I think I can just shoot him from here. Yes. I haven't nerfed this yet. Oh no, this was all me. This was all designed by me, sweet Sandy. 
This is all the the pink was just because of the pink of the zombie picklin, and originally all of those magma block platforms were um, nether rack, and so the pink looked a lot better with the nether rack than it does. If I was to do it over again, it would all be orange glass, not pink. It's a really good philosophy. I'll bear that in mind. Uh, I'll go check out the old vods. I think. Uh, I watched them at the time, but they didn't really pay attention to the mods being used. Yeah, there's also a spreadsheet. Um, if you are in the Discord, I can link you the spreadsheet. Or it might even be mentioned in one of those VODs. Although I guess the VODs on YouTube don't have the chat room from Twitch. Um, there might be something in the commands. If you look at commands. We did clean out a bunch of commands lately. So there, it may not be... Um, it might not still be in there. Oh yeah, that didn't take very long at all. So the spreadsheet is the all of fabric for a five spreadsheet. So that's, it's a little overwhelming. It's, it's definitely going through, um, it's definitely going through. Yeah, Zach, Tech, Zach Attack plays. It's not going to be, it's not going to be, um, something as simple as spreadsheet. It would be something specific to all of Fabric 5. Um, and what I meant by check the commands is like check the list of commands. Don't randomly try commands in chat. I'd say that's probably good. Sorted. Not going to get much gold from that, but that's fine. Always fun sometimes to walk around on the server a little bit. Get to show off the nether that we don't get to see very much. Still got lots of fuel. <laughs> One ingot. Added to whatever we craft here. Might have been removed, yeah. I, I think what happened, Sweet Sandy, the last time that Cosmic and I were auditing the commands, I knew I wasn't going to be returning to Olive Fabric. I, I've tried it a couple of times, and I just end up finding that I, I complain a lot during modded, heavily modded streams and stuff. So if I do any modded stuff in the future, it'll be a little bit more like maybe gimmicky, like Skyblock or something completely different. Bingo or... Whatever. I don't think I'm going to do a single player survival let's play modded. I just, it, uh, it just takes time away from the Citadel. Doesn't seem to really make a lot of sense. So I think we, t we tanked those mods, but I definitely, I offered this spreadsheet to Steven who started their modded series recently. Like just last week, I think. I have escaped the skeleton. We're not going to walk all the way back. Now that we've got fully repaired, I think we're good. Not that it's a terribly long walk.
So if we're going to tackle this balcony, we should take a look and see what we're up against here. I don't think it needs to be any bigger. There's definitely going to be, need to be some landscaping, and I'm probably going to turn that into mostly cliff. So we might remove the grass there a little bit, uh, which will make room for some of those trees to move around. I like the idea of it having some sort of like underside. So we'll mess around with that. And it might look good to have some dark oak top stuff to it. Finished Kiwi, thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it. And then over here, we've got stones and stairs and little pressure plates. So we're probably going to use that design. Or we could use the mini blocks. That emerald is very bright, I must say. Okay, so we're going to need stone bricks, stone, probably stone stairs, slabs. Pressure plates. And I'll be digging up some dirt. So I think what I'd like to have in here, either we'll fill it in totally, but I definitely want to have some sort of like, maybe we could do a deep slate wall. That might look cool. Or maybe cobble deep slate. I guess I should start to think about the plan for the top first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Didn't think that out very far, did I? How has I been doing these other parts? It's all been stone. This is all stone brick though. Ah, so then that would have to be a stair.
So I guess I'll just leave that the way that it is. Oh, no, nope, that's not right. Looks okay. I'm not sure about the little corner pieces. I would have liked to have had that be a little bit better, but we could change it so that it has a, a point in the middle. The underside is uneven now, so we have to change that. Been listening to your Sizzle Cafe projects on the Spawn Chunks uh, a longer while, and it's always fun to hear about the builds. So today I decided to take the time to come see it. Westell is way bigger than I anticipated, <laughs> greatly passing my expectations. Keep up the great work. Thanks so much, Finish Kiwi. It's a very nice thing to say. Here, hold on. Since you're new. Shaders. We'll approach from the south. Ignore the floating trees that were not here the last time I was out this way. <laughs> that wasn't a thing last time I was out here. I didn't realize that root blocks kept leaves alive. That's interesting. But this is the uh, low town fishing village area coming into, into West Hill. It's pretty big. Pretty big. This isn't too fancy because it's meant to be like a fishing village area. But we got market stands and cool doodads and riverbanks. I was talking with a friend the other day about how much I like landscaping. And some of my favorite landscapes in West Hill are actually the riverbanks. I find that they've worked out quite well. They're not all finished, but some of them are looking pretty sharp. And then this is the main main drag and I'll do I'll probably end up going to the market another time but we'll just walk back over to the west side once we get up here it'll you can see right away oh I fell so there's the east side with the market over there by the church we came in through here this is the main area, and then we're working currently over here. This is a fun street to walk down, actually. This came together quite nicely. What shaders do I use? That's a really good question uh, that I can answer if I remember the right button. Options. BSL version 8.1.02.2. Better plus plus something something. I'm kidding. That's it. That's the um yeah, BSL. I've tried a, a couple of other ones, but those are the ones I like the most. I've stripped them down a little bit in terms of like turning off a bunch of things like wobbly waves and all that stuff. They seem to have a good variety of options, which I like. I can't play with them yet. I have yet to put my new RAM in my computer. When I do that, I might be able to pull off shaders, but we'll see. I'd imagine most of that's going to depend on the video card. So I was thinking either cobblestone or, or deep slate. or cobble deep slate.
Yes, the VODs has the building of every single city. Um, Finnish Kiwi, the first, the first part of the front gate was the first week of December 2020, I think. We're coming up on two years, but two years of weekends. I don't play every day. Two years of weekends. Hmm, so not the bricks. We might want to go with cobblestone or basalt. I think maybe cobbled deep slate and some basalt thrown in there is probably what we want to do. And before I do that, do we like... I think we like the shape of it. I think I want to remove some of this grass, though. Just gonna go with what the Minecraft terrain gen has given us and then we can tweak it a little bit later. You have reached the end of the first hour of break time. Thanks very much. Appreciate that. I'm losing track. Oh yeah, I think that'll look cool. Once I mean like we'll we'll make it look like a nice cliff once we've got it sorted, but I think the contrast there will be good. But with the trees and we'll have some moss hanging over. Yeah. I think we can make that look very nice. So if you are new to the channel, as I think some of you may be first time here, I take a break once an hour. It's a healthy thing to do when you sit at the computer all the time. So you get to refresh your drink and grab a friend and I get to maybe grab a snack and um, you know, refresh my coffee that kind of thing i mean who am i kidding i'm full of pancakes i don't i don't need any food but uh, i am going to take a break so i'll be back in about five or six minutes
dirt and grass. Thank you, Sandy. Mini packs, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Where do I put the... There's the leaves. Where's the roots? There we go. Rain in Minecraft, always. It's at least twice in the first hour. I think it was raining during my pre-show countdown too. I'm spoiled and satisfactory. You can open up your inventory while you continue to walk. And uh, I, re I really like that feature. Especially when you do a lot of walking like I do in these games. So where should the grass maybe begin? I think maybe we could have some grass here. more stone along here. Not really planning this so much, I'm just kind of going by feel. Did I get a new skin, Joel? No. No, I've had the same skin probably unchanged for five years. I might have I might have made one or two tweaks, but yeah, it's been the same for a while. Been the same for a while. I think my elytra changed when I got like one of the capes or something, but that's it. All right, so that feels a little strange. So maybe more grass over here. And then I guess we'll come at the other side. Sheep's Caliber, hello. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. I'm trying not to cut down the trees if I can help it. So I'm trying to leave them naturally where they occurred. A 
see if that made a difference. Yeah, I mean, it'll take some tweaking. But I think that looks like a more we built this on the rocks sort of look. And we can come at it with some moss and things and, and make it look a little bit better too. This is a little bit square. We're probably going to take that down a notch. Maybe have it come down a little bit sharper. I'm not sure if you can hear the crows in my backyard, but crows would be a really cool ambient mob to add to Minecraft. I'd love to have some crows around. That's better. Maybe we can even get a little bit more of a of an overhang or something. Cool. Definitely not a perfectionist. I don't know what you're talking about. I admit nothing. Sheep Scalper subscribing with Prime for two months. Thanks very much. That's the Earth Keystone badge. I do like that one. I mean, I like them all, but it's a nice, nice bright one. I think that's a solid pass on that for now. I wish it was possible for sub badges at like maybe at the top tier, like say you've got the top tier sub badge. It would be really cool if streamers could offer their followers and subscribers a choice. So like, You've been here for 12 months or 18 months or like whatever the, the top one is. I think it's like two years or, or five years or something. But once you reach that point, really anything above one year, I think would be adequate. It would be cool if it's like, all right, well, here's, here's the badge, but it comes in a selection of, you know, a, your five or six basic colors, you know, red, green, blue, orange, purple, like pink, that kind of thing. Choose the one that you like. And everyone in chat will just know that if you have the the X shape that you are one of the longtime subscribers and then the color is just like totally up to you. I think that would be cool. I think that would be very cool. So I like, I like mixing basalt and deep slate. Even if basalt does sound like a creeper.
Anybody feeling claustrophobic yet? I forgot about my early days in Minecraft and just, just how claustrophobic the game feels. You know, Cosmic, we want a rainbow. Yeah, that's fair. Well, you could, you could make one like that. If it's all up to you, then it would be easy. Right, Dan? Like, I think that would be really cool. Because right now, everybody that's been a subscriber of my channel forever has, like, the purple badge. And that's the one year. I, I don't have any new ones. I need to get on that. I think I'm going to learn how to do... I'm going to use Procreate. I'm going to learn how... I'm going to use making the final designs for emotes and stuff as an excuse to learn how to do procreate because i'm a photoshop guy but i feel like one of the reasons i don't draw on my ipad is because i just don't i don't know how to use procreate efficiently so it takes forever well i like i like this mostly i feel like we're probably going to want to change a little bit of the inside like we could probably do some trapdoor action in here. I'd imagine we're probably going to go with spruce, but just just on the off chance. Actually, you know, I think uh, the dark oak. Dark oak looks pretty good. Just to kind of give it a little bit of a color. I don't think I'm going to have access here. I think the whole idea is that I want this to feel like a closed, closed thing. Don't want to overdo it. I think that's pretty good. Maybe we'll sneak in one more over here. And some of these could be worn down. Maybe we'll do... I guess we can't see all of them. So here we could probably go, we'll go with cracked for now, but we might come back and do like mossy as we add bushes and things around here. Now, I feel like in the front, 
I created some sort of like ridge or line or outline or something. So I'm going to try and copy that. Yeah, so this is the f like the bricks of the frame. We've got like a, a top brick, but then a smooth stone bottom. And then on this wall, yeah, we did like the cobblestone inside. We might take that, that back to deep slate. Sweet Sandy, yeah, I agree. I think I think the, the Dark Oak chapter works as well for that reason. Yeah, I'd like to... Can't use stone here because that's not going to work as the, the cliff, but I want to have some sort of like line along here. If we lower this a little bit, it should work. I guess I could also do stairs, couldn't I? I have to stop messing with the, the trap doors until I'm done here. I'm just going to continuously spring them. Let's take a step back and see what that looks like. I think I like the full block better than the stair. I think the stair gets a little bit too busy. This feels a lot more solid. Yeah, it feels a lot more solid. That was my face. All right, so we're not gonna need stairs. Sometimes the simplest one is the one to go with. Rabelais, good to see you, my friend. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So we'll just continue that all the way around. Now there's an idea, having that be also an arc, or chopping that away. No, I think I like that better as is, but this could absolutely be um, basalt. And then I like a little slab. Just echoing the front design a little bit.
trying not to overdo it with the cracked bricks because it is a fairly rich mansion. We're kind of, I don't think it's going to be necessarily run down, you know? But I think I need to get rid of some of the dirt in here. What's nice about this is that if we decide to add anything into the kitchen downstairs, we can sort of dig ourselves out into the cliff a little bit and it's not going to look too bad. Could be kind of fun. Oh, that's not a real path. <laughs> Whoops. Thought there was a path there. Good thing I didn't build it. I mean, what? I loathe that I'm literally jump scared so easily. Heights or tight spaces don't get me, but sudden loud noises do. <laughs> There's a path. I've never really, I don't like horror movies and stuff, so I don't play horror games, but I know people really enjoy. I saw, I don't know why it was coming across my feed. It's probably because I just have been watching some gaming on TikTok, but um, there, somebody was playing some horror game and it was just a visual jump scare of like, you walk through a room and it's empty. You look around the room in the new room. And then when you turn around to go back in the room that you were just in, that was empty, there's like a person standing right in front of you. And this girl jumped out of her skin. Like she was streaming and I I don't think she was making it up. I, I If she's an actor, then she's a damn good one. Because she flipped out, like fell out of her chair. <laughs> and I was just like, oh man, yeah, that's not how I want to spend my Saturday. No, thank you. And to her credit, to her credit, the... um. The mic didn't peak like she shrieked, but it she had she had good filters and good audio balancing and it wasn't like piercing. Um, it was loud, but it wasn't like she broke her levels or anything on the mic. It was. Yeah, I was like, nope, not for me. I don't even think I could watch a stream like that. I would I would I jumped. I jumped a little bit just watching it. Oh, nuts. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Here's where I am. That's what I was working. So this is the inside wall of the basement, essentially. Medium saucepan wins the username of the day and his rating with a party of 14 sauce raid <laughs> medium saucepan wow it's funny how like how very simple and straightforward that username is and yet how funny it is well well done well played how was your saturday how was your stream you were playing minecraft what were you doing in minecraft Sheep Scalibur, Comment Bomber. We got uh, No Larkson coming in with the wave and the and the pan emotes. 
Saucepan, what's shaking? Thanks so much for sharing your viewers. Uh, folks, my name is Joel Duggan. If you are unfamiliar with me or my work, I stream and podcast full time. You can listen to the Sponge Chunks podcast at the SpongeChunks.com and the Civil Cafe podcast at the CivilCafe.com. And you are looking at West Hill, which is a nearly two year old medieval town build on the survival server of the Citadel. And yes, the Citadel is named after the Citadel Cafe, my podcast. And we're currently working on this giant taiga mansion. And we're working on some cliffs and the balcony out here. Oh, I just realized I forgot to add some stuff to the balcony on that side. I'm going to go around here. Did I make it? Sort of. We are, we've entered into the scaffolding everywhere phase of, uh, of the process. Listen to the Spawn Chunks podcast. Very cool. I'm glad that you listen. Cosmic Dancer's favorite portion of the build, the scaffolding phase. Mainly because it makes me so angry. I think that's probably why, why they like it so much. No squid. That would have been funnier had I got him the first try. So slowly and surely wrapping my head around how we can connect all this. I think if I remove these blocks here. And that can be grass. This can be stone. And we'll come back with maybe some slabs and stairs too. Got to raid and run um, for some... Um, Stream self-care. I'll see you later. Thanks for the stream. Hey, no problem, uh, Medium Sauce Man. Um, thanks for coming in. Uh, thanks for sharing your viewers. Folks, in my chat, if you haven't already, um, please check out that link to Medium Sauce Man. See what they're up to in Minecraft. And if you like what you see, give them a follow. Hang out with them next time. Let them know I sent you back. And folks, just coming in, it's a pretty chill stream here. We uh, keep it on the low key. We're just slowly but surely working away at this uh this mansion and i've gotten myself caught up in landscape brain so that's kind of what we're doing right now going on here one of these things is a wall so the stone comes down there we've got a basement here I'll show you just so you can see what's going on there is a basement underneath all of this so this is the that's the main hall up there there is a fireplace there and then we also have like a kitchen basement here that shares the same chimney. So we're eventually gonna put a stove in here and I'm working kind of like right outside that corner. So I'm just trying to maintain the shape and see if it makes sense where an exposed wall like this 
might show up. And right now that feels the most natural. That would be part of that wall. And this would probably be... I feel like there would maybe be a path here. So we should probably leave this. I don't know where this would go. I guess we could lead a path down to here somehow. It would be cool to have a really steep little staircase. Um, how would we do this? I feel like this would be better if we went down here by one block. That's kind of cool. We'll have to come up with a way to make it a little bit, a little bit easier to get around. Might have to bring this up a little bit. Man, it gets dark back there. Something fast. Sing, Singender, Holtz, Kubel. I don't know how to pronounce that. Comet Bomber, thanks for the follows, both of you. Appreciate it. I like adding these fun little ideas yeah like you can barely see that from down here i like that a lot i like that a lot and maybe we'll just subtly hint that there's something here Close enough, thanks for the chill stream. I'm sorry. If you want to put a phonetic spelling in the chat, I'll be happy to give it a go. I um I find that it I wanna say it looks like a you know northern European name. I have a lot of trouble with them. I will always try. You will get an honest effort, <laughs> wrong as it may be. So I think here is where I want, I might want to put a different, I want to put a separate tree. I think here is where we want to go and get some, um, I might just do a sapling and see what we get. 
It's not a name. Well, there you go. It's a silly German new username. Can I ask what it means? Uh, do, do, do. Let's just go with the, the easy route. And we'll go... Do I have any bone meal? I don't. Gotta dump the inventory out anyway. Uh, singing wood barrel? Is that what it means? Translates to singing wooden bucket. <laughs> nice. I'll see if I can remember that. If you come into chat another time and I just say, hey, bucket, what's going on? Then you'll know I remembered. <laughs> singing wooden bucket. Interesting. So, singender is singing and holds... Kubil is bucket. So is is Holtz bucket and Kubil is what is wooden? Is that how that breaks down? German is Latin based, right? Like that's I can get at least that far. I could be wrong. Feel free to correct me. English isn't languages is not something I took in school. I took like English class, but not like various, various levels. Oh, really? Holtz is wood and Kubel is bucket. Okay. I had it backwards. I was close. I find a lot of times like languages other than English will flip things around. So instead of saying wooden bucket it will be like bucket that is wooden that kind of thing in canadian it would just be like that thing there <laughs> you just point at it be like that's what i want that's that's more of a newfoundland thing than a canadian thing but funny nonetheless Uh, German is Germanic language. French and Spanish is Latin-based. Right, Obu, thank you. I th as soon as I said it, it was like, mm, I don't think that's right. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run with it. And my worldly chat room will let me know how wrong I actually am. So I think the easiest thing to do here is going to be to put this here, hit it with some bone meal. And wait, I guess it's not going to grow. Darn it, I guess it's not going to grow. Let's try it one block out. Actually, let's go out in this direction. I think it's probably the, the ceiling. Really? All right, well, so much for that. So much for being easy, chat. I guess we're making a custom tree. We don't have enough leaves for that, but it's fine.
So we'll come back and finish that. But essentially, I just wanted something to kind of like cut this thing off a little bit. Cool. When I translate my thoughts from German to English, I often encounter those other way around grammar rules. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the flow is more natural. That's, that's cool. I don't speak any other languages, even though French is the um, second official language of Canada. And uh, I have lots of friends that speak French, but I don't. I was never able to really get into it. Never able to really get into it. Plus, it's not fun in school. It's cool if you're in like the university level, I think, but I, there was no conversational classes when I was growing up in school. It was all just conjugating verbs and people just misbehaved in class. It wasn't fun, so which sucks because it would be an excellent skill to have. I guess I could still try. I could still try to learn something, but I can barely speak English half the time and I talk for a living. I think I'm going to leave this here for now. I'm not going to go any farther with it. I think that's probably a decent decent bit of progress on that. Uh, this, however, I don't think we've addressed the other side either. Sweet Sandy, well played. I see what you did there. Oh, this is all brick. That's why we've not addressed that at all. Okay, so let's see what we could do with this. I think it might be time to move these shulker boxes. We still have to work on the basement. And honestly, if I brought all the shulker bit boxes down here, then it would be a lot easier to work on the grounds and the outside here. So maybe it's time to clean up the main room there. So let's do that. There are also no helicopters in medieval fantasy Minecraft for those that can hear that going over my, my apartment. My room just shook, that was so low. Right, that's going to have to come with us. That can go back in the bin. So we're going to notice a few things right away, I'm sure. Let's clean this up too. I know we're going to need the tables and chairs downstairs. I guess we can put some of the stuff here. So tables and chairs can stay here. That can go in there. We are probably going to need... Imagine we'll need stone. Stone bricks. Stone box, cut stone, definitely going to need some spruce. We know the trapdoors are coming. 
So we'll do all the oak woods. We'll do all the woods. Oak, spruce, and dark oak. Profession blocks. Definitely going to need that. That's a thing. And a site will stay. And cobblestone will stay. I think we can put everything else back. I'll throw the bed in the corner. I think we can probably put the rest away. Hello, how's it going? Uh, talking about West Hill, uh, it's going well. It's very dark right now, but um, we're just we're taking little chunks at it, you know. I was mentioning at the top of the stream that I'm getting a little burnt out on this build. I'm I'm itching to finish it and move on to something else that's fresh. Whoa! Speaking of fresh, stay on your toes. Where'd you go? Oh, there's still some more to build. Yeah, it is getting full. It is getting full. Carved deep slates. So we've got deep slate, basalt. So salt, carved deep slate, deep slate. I already got an ender chest here. Grass. How's my dirt box? Good. That's getting full. Nice that we have so much rooted dirt though. Uh, I've noticed that satisfactory Nightbot link. I've just begun getting into this game. Man, those pipelines are a jump in the learning curve. They are indeed. They are indeed, Bucket. Uh, and uh, we're playing Satisfactory shortly, actually. We're going to be playing this afternoon. Red shulker box. Oh, this is the thing that needs to get emptied into its proper places. Uh, redstone, another box was there. Nope, uh, another box. And then we've got spruce leaves are somewhere here. Coal is inside, gravel is here. I brought that with me. No room in there. That go inside. Mini blocks I'll go inside. Trapdoor, cauldron, lantern. Might as well leave that out. And trapdoor. Perfect. Just popped in to say thanks for the Spawn Chunks podcast. Really relaxing and perfect and walking the dog. Started all over from the very beginning. So I have 200 good episodes to go so far. Wow. Are you are you keeping up, uh, JGF? JGF? I'm not sure how to say your name. 
Um, are you are you staying on the new episodes and then going back and listening to the archives in between? That's usually what I recommend people. Because it is a news show, it's better to, to listen to the first ones first, I think. I think, I think. Um, Red Shulker Box. Cole is in one of these. Go. Ta-da. Oh, Sandy beat me to it. Sandy just said exactly what I said. My bad. I don't think we need the arrow, but I can't leave stuff. I can't leave stuff in the ground to despawn. We have to uh, do what all good medieval people do, which is throw it in the water. Mods watched. Thanks for the follow. Very much appreciated. Well, folks, I think this is where I'm going to take my next break. Uh, we are at the next hour. Uh, however, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an extended break and we are going to switch over to Satisfactory. So uh, it'll be probably about 10 minutes, maybe closer to um, 10 or 15, just because I need to end the stream so I get a separate VOD. And then, of course, I'll start the Satisfactory stream. Uh, but I'm giving myself a decent break. I'm going to just get a good glass of water and a stretch. Uh, don't go anywhere. We're going to continue on this afternoon uh, with Satisfactory. So if you're curious about that game, you want to see some cool mega projects, then uh, check that out. But yeah. If you are heading on your way, uh, do check out the Spawn Chunks podcast on Monday. We record every Monday talking about the three new mobs that Mojang wants the users and players to vote into the game. The Sniffer, the Rascal, and the Tough Golem. So we'll be talking about those in as much detail as we can. We don't know a lot, but that's going to be the subject on Monday. And of course, you can follow here on Twitch, on Twitter, Instagram, it's all Joel Duggan, very easy to find. Thank you so much to all the subs today. Uh, Y'all are awesome. Gl good to see so many people resubbing, people that have been here for a while and enjoying the community and have become pillars in it. I, I very much appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with Satisfactory in about 10 or 15 minutes.